hard that Cormier has put in the training camp of his life. Nobody motivates you more than Johnny Bones. Absolutely. Oh, lands a knee to the body here in side control. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC. Oh, that was a double leg takedown attempt here. And that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? By working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. Ground and pound, big weapon for him here tonight. There's the elbow from the top by Cormier. We march on three minutes to go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, he's got his back now. Cormier's got the full mount. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. We get to a lightweight bout between Justin Gaethje and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ready. California, USA. Good to have you with us inside Honda Center tonight. The quick level change. Oh, he sir. went single. Rotate head outside. This dude. Oh. Oh. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Now you got to get back up. Scramble and get back up. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. And they separate. Big punch from the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. They're certainly getting after it early. 
That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the... So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. And 26 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so once more, he takes the fight to the ground. That was his game plan, exactly what he planned on doing coming into the fight. So far, so good. So far, so good. There's no reason to be disappointed. He does a fantastic job of entering and once he gets to the takedowns, he does a great job of securing top position and really getting damaged off on his opponent. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nurmagomedov ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Nurmagomedov. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Gaethje. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job by Nurmagomedov. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before the opponent gets started. Sound strike on the ground. One minute. Fighters back to their feet here. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right punches there. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen... He's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. Round two. Justin Gaethje versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. Effective punch there by Gaethje. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nurmagomedov, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. So 110 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, three out of every four shots. On the inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and has landed exactly as he was looking. Oh, big knee to the bottom. That was a little shot to the body. He told us he was gonna win champion. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Under three minutes to go here in round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Big punch lands over the top. Oh. He left hand. He's got him up here. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hand. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. They continue to exchange. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Pretty good right hand. Oh, oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Ooh. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Under a minute now to go in the round. So back to the well with the elbows right now, and he's landing right them in bunches. So his opponent better figure some solutions out here and in short order. Nurmago Medov's got his hand looking for a guillotine. A guillotine. He might get a finish here. of this young fighter. You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, 